Now that is more like the Toronto Raptors we know and love coming out there at home. 2019 kicks in. By the way, everybody, happy new year. Happy 2019. And boy, did the Raptors in 2019 with a solid victory. 122 116 over the Utah Jazz and Utah team who was so good last year and they look so promising coming into the season and they just haven't put it together they're 18 and 20 uh, after their loss to the Raptors there today Donovan Mitchell guys I look he was my in my personal opinion he was my rookie of the year Jason Tatum was fantastic as well and Ben Simmons was fantastic they were all great but the way Donovan Mitchell kind of carried that Utah team was incredible. This year, not so much. He's shooting 41% from the field and 29% from three. I mean, he is not having the same year he did last season. And he shot, what, 7 of 23 today. That's terrible. And the Raptors, boy, did they shoot the ball pretty darn well today. We haven't been able to say that in a while. They get 122 points. They shoot 55% from the field, and Kawhi Leonard racks up 45 on a ridiculous percentage shooting. 60, 16 for 22, 13 of 17 from the line, 0 of 3 from a 3. But guys, he shot 72% from the field. It doesn't matter about those three missed threes because he was so good in every other game, making all their players look silly. And a couple, a couple really, really uh, tough shots underneath the basket from Kawhi Leonard. And the guys, this Raptor team has to realize, look, three-point shooting is not this team's greatest strong suit. As much as that's what we want, we don't we, we don't want this team to, to be too three-point happy and miss a ton and go like seven for 40 or some crazy stupid number like that. Today, they only shot 20 and they were seven of 20, 35%. But the fact that they were 55% from the field that allowed them to score 50, 122 in the game. They out-rebounded the Utah Jazz by 2, 45-43. Um, with Rudy Gobert, that's a big thing. Obviously, offensive glass, big difference. They were plus 7. And you look at this game the way it was. It was tight for most of the game. First quarter, Raptors have like a 7-point lead with a few minutes to go in the first quarter. They let that dwindle away, and it's just 2 after one quarter play, 26-24. Second quarter rolls around. They're plus four, and the Raptors are stuck two at the half. Look, two points is anything. It's one shot. It's not going to make any difference. It's not really big, not really a lead whatsoever. And the Raptors come out in the third and dominate offensively. Yes, they get 32 points, the Utah Jazz. But the Raptors get 44 points. Big kudos to that, being to Kawhi Leonard and Pascal Siakam, who think they combined for like 30-something-odd points in that quarter. They were unstoppable in that third quarter. And the Raptors, with that said, plus 10 going into the fourth quarter. Now, yes, they were plus they were plus four in the fourth quarter. At one point, they got down to five. But the Raptors made that last push and got it that much. Just did an amazing job tonight. Fending off the Jazz, not letting them for ex any extended runs, right? And I think that was a big, big thing for this Raptor team. You didn't want to let Utah really get on a roll and get flowing, right? And when they did, when they knocked out a couple shots here and there, either Nick Nurse calls a timeout or the Raptors found a way to stop them and turn it the other way and turn it into Raptor buckets. I mean, they did a great job. Yeah, they gave them 116 points. Ideally, defensively, that's not that great. However, you hold them to only 43% shooting from the field, 28% shooting from three. Those are the numbers you like to see. Now, let's go to the fourth quarter real quick, guys, here. And I already said the offensive boards were 12-5 to in favor of the Utah Jazz. We're going to go to this final play, all right? The fi well, I'm going to say like the final minute, I guess. Serge Ibaka takes a quarter three. Not the guy you want shooting a three. He was in the corner and fading. Not what you want to see. And he misses it. But who comes absolutely flying in for the rebound? It's Danny Green. He gets it. He's almost falling out of bounds. Grabs it. Fires it. Fred Van Vliet picks it up. Gives it to Kawhi. He gets it to... Uh, was it Siakam? No. I don't know who it was. But they... they I think it was been Danny Green again. They, they take the shot. They miss it. And Siakam's on the glass, he gets fouled, and that's pretty much the game there. 
So yes, the Raptors only had five offensive boards in the game today, but two of those were huge, huge offensive boards late in the game. They did a great job crashing the glass there when they needed to late. They did an amazing job. Yeah, 18 assists isn't a giant number without without uh, Kyle Lowry. And by the way, guys, he had some shots. I think it is in his back today. So uh, if that's the case, he won't be playing against uh, San Antonio and DeMar DeRozan. We're going to have to wait and see how that thing plays out, guys. The Raptors play them in a couple days here. Uh, but a big story today, turnovers. The Raptors had two turnovers in the first five, six minutes of the game. They end with nine. That's pretty darn good. Now, ideally, the Utah Jazz only had four turnovers, which is an incredible number. They did a great job containing the basketball. Um, but the Raptors... Came in today, having fought hard and really haven't shot the ball well lately. Utah's a team that's been grinding. They haven't been playing well. They're five. They're fifty five and five in their last ten games. They're a team that's trying to find who they are right now. And the Raptors, who have been struggling, have now won two games in a row with Chicago and now Utah. Right, letter with an amazing game. Siakam twenty eight ten. <coughs> excuse me, guys. Uh, twenty eight points. 10 rebounds on 9 of 15 shooting, 7 of 7 from the line, and 3 of 4 from 3. Pascal Siakam, guys, had a ridiculously good game in, in, in really all aspects. I think he had an amazing game uh, rebounding defensively, and obviously offensively he did an amazing job as well. Coming into the game, Pascal has a 33% three, 3-point 3 shot. It's not terrible for a guy who couldn't shoot a 3 for his life last season, and he went 3 for 4 here tonight. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. It's a little stuffy in here. You know, and, and Norman Powell had a great night tonight. 14 points and 6 of 11 shooting. 2 of 4 from 3. Had a couple steals as well. Fred Van Vliet, 8 points, 4 boards, 5 assists on 3 of 5 shooting. 1 of 2 from 3. Uh, you know, he was a plus 12 on the floor. The starting unit did an amazing job against their starting unit. Listen to this. Kawhi Leonard, plus 8. Siakam, plus 12. Ibaka, plus 10. Danny Green, plus 16. And Fred Van Vliet, Plus 12. They did an amazing job containing those starters. Well, the only guy who really did an amazing job for them, Derek Favors, uh, 21 points. But he, only 20, he only played 27 minutes. I don't think he played down the stretch, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Jay Crowder was fantastic. I thought he was a really, really good job. But you hold Rubio to 6 of 17 shooting. You hold Mitchell to 7 of 23 shooting. And Joe Inglis does not make a field goal. The presence of Kawhi Leonard got to Joe Inglis. <coughs> oh, guys, scratching the throat. It's that time of year. You guys know how about, all about that kind of stuff. Next up for the Raptors, the game we have all been waiting for. The Raptors go to San Antonio to take on DeMar DeRozan and the San Antonio Spurs on Thursday, January 3rd, 8 p.m. tip-off in San Antonio. Kawhi Leonard's return to San Antonio, and DeMar DeRozan's return to, to, I guess, facing the Toronto Raptors for the first time in his career. It's going to be an interesting night. A lot of question marks. How is the reception going to be for Kawhi Leonard in San Antonio? I mean, he did bring a championship to San Antonio. However, the way this thing ended with them, I don't know. I don't know how that'll go. And DeMar DeRozan, how's he going to do against his former team? Will Kyle Lowry play? I doubt it from what we heard today. There's no timetable for his return. Usually when you hear that, he won't be back next game. However, it's DeMar DeRozan, his best buddy. It's going to be very, interest very interesting to see what happens with that front. Uh, look, I'm excited to see DeMar. Uh, it's going to be bittersweet, though, seeing him in a San Antonio jersey. However, guys, remember, you got to remember, Kawhi Leonard's pretty darn good. We can't be complaining about that. <laughs> He's a damn good talent. And I can't wait to watch that thing on, uh, on uh, Thursday night at 8 o'clock. Uh, I'm really, really excited, guys. You know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoyed the video. And you guys enjoyed the win today. Smack the like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below, guys. What would you think of the game? Who's your MVP? MVP? Would you give it to Siakam? Would you give it to Kawhi Leonard? I think I got to give it to Kawhi. I think most of us have to give it to Kawhi. They were, he was fantastic in the game, dominating the offense for most of the game. What an amazing job for Kawhi in this one. And uh, Evan and I will talk to you guys. It'll be tomorrow evening, podcast edition. Links are in the description for the podcast channel and the podcast itself on iTunes, guys. If, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube, 
channel for the podcast. That link is below. Also, the iTunes link is down below as well, guys. Follow up that as well. Please do so. Show the support for that. And um, I will talk... Well, Twitter is also down below as well, guys. Follow up. Send me a DM. Do all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys. Leafs edition. Thursday, January 3rd, as they welcome in the Minnesota Wild to Scotiabank Arena as the Leafs look to, uh, you know, after some time off here, really get back into grip after that rough, rough loss against the um, New York Islanders. The question remains, will Frederick Anderson play? I don't, that remains to be seen. And as for the Toronto Raptors, guys, like we said, they take on the San Antonio Spurs in San Antonio, Texas, as the Raptors head to San Antonio, taking on DeMar DeRozan. And the Spurs. 8 p.m. tip-off, Thursday, January 3rd. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you guys then.